Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Dr. Dustin, board certified physician, and these are the three most common questions and things you should know about Candida auris infections. Candida auris is an emerging public health threat, and it is a resistant fungal infection that can affect many tissues in the body. The number one thing people are asking is, what are the symptoms of a Candida auris infection? The most common thing that we may see is a fever, sweats, or chills, and people are often gonna be treated with antibiotics when they display these symptoms, but they won't get better because it's not a bacteria, it's a fungus. We can also see muscle aches, skin rashes, bladder infections, blood infections, wounds that do not heal, and even ear infections. And again, most of these are not gonna to respond to regular treatment. And then in looking at antifungal treatments, we may have difficulty treating it there because Candida auris has been shown to be resistant to many of those common antifungal treatments. Second question is how do you protect yourself or your loved ones from a Candida auris infection? Well, you're gonna do the main things that you would do against any microorganism, whether it's a bacteria, fungus, or a virus, and that is to practice good hand hygiene. You wanna wash your hands with soap and water for 30 to 60 seconds, especially if you are visiting or working in a healthcare facility. That's where Candida auris is most likely to be and is most likely to spread. You can also protect yourself by avoiding the unnecessary use of antifungal and antibiotic medications if they're not needed for your particular condition. Those things can result in more resistant organisms. It's also important to note that Candida auris can survive for up to 30 days on certain surfaces, so it's important to clean the things around you if you are around somebody with a confirmed Candida auris infection, clean them with an alcohol-based cleanser, and really allow that time to dry to make sure that all the spores are killed. And lastly, can Candida auris be cured? Well, it could in many cases, but it's going to take the combination of several different antifungal medications because we're seeing resistance to some of the more common things that we use. The best treatment is usually gonna come from infectious disease physicians who are specially trained to treat these kinds of resistant organisms. And individuals, especially if you're immunocompromised, may need additional supportive care to make sure that they're not getting dehydrated, that they can oxygenate well, and that should be done often in the inpatient setting. That means in the hospital. So that's your three minute health update on Candida auris. This is an emerging public health concern, but probably not something that the general public needs to be concerned about right now. Keep yourself healthy by practicing good hand hygiene and keeping your environment clean. Also, stay physically active. Keep your mind and your body healthy as possible, and you probably have nothing to worry about when it comes to Candida auris. If you found this information helpful, make sure to watch this other video where you're gonna learn more information on how to keep your mind and your body healthy inside and out. I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.